Nick speaking and welcome to this video, right tiered learning curve and today we're looking at the elite choices, in particular the hive guard. Uh, now in the previous codex the elites section was absolutely jam packed with awesome units. Um, we had hive guard in there which we're just about to talk about, we had uh, Y stealers, we had um, uh, zone thropes, we had Duma Melanti, it was jam packed. Now we have lost Y Steelers, we've lost Duma Melanti, although we've got a variant in with the Zone Thropes, but the slots just aren't as jam packed as they used to be, um, which is quite interesting and it gives us a bit few more options. So let's have a look at Hive Guard. Uh, now these are 55 points each, they have a Weapon Skill 4, Ballistic Skill 3, Strength 5, Toughness 6, 2 Wounds, Initiative 2. Two attacks, leadership seven, and a four plus save. Um, so, right from the off, toughness six, that is a great start. Um, and that brings me on to the models themselves, actually, because obviously, as you can see, I've got this huge carapace on. Now, this is a Carnifex carapace, so don't have the original models. These are uh, converted from Warriors. Actually, it's quite, a, quite good at the moment because. Um, so many cheap worries around but people are just buying the, the dual kit with the blood angels and selling off the tyranid half so it's quite a good option I mean even if you just bought three warriors it's £10 cheaper than buying three hive guard and just a few spikes and stuff you know you can convert them up um, but yeah toughness six so that means that these guys are absolutely ideal if you're using a big monstrous creature type list uh, if you've got trigons and carnifexes and, and fly rents, you know, where you've got that toughness 6 on the table, these fit in quite nicely, they keep that toughness 6 theme uh, going. Now, yes, okay, they've only got a 4 plus save, but 2 wounds, and if you've got a unit of 3, um, it's a reasonable amount of damage that they can uh, sustain. Now, the unit you can have between 1 and 3, um, I, I certainly wouldn't recommend one. I do take units of two sometimes if I'm strapped for points, but on the whole, I like to have three. Now, what gun do they have? Obviously, you can see they've got a big gun there. They are a shooter unit. Uh, they come as stock with the Impaler Cannon. That's a 24-inch gun. Uh, strength 8, AP4, two shots each. Uh, but mo more importantly, they don't need line of sight and they ignore cover. So they are primarily a uh, tank hunting unit, although pretty decent at taking out other things as well. Um, you know, high strength, a fair amount of shots coming through. So if you had a unit of three, obviously six bullets coming out. Okay, they need fours to wound, uh, sorry, to get the bullets out, but you know, pretty decent against infantry, but ideally they are a tank killer. Um, you know, those light tanks like rhinos, these are awesome for taking those out. Even if they pop smoke or they're trying to get cover, you take that away. Um, which is it's quite nice as a tier player to say, yeah, no cover save. Because we don't tend to get to say that very often. <laughs> now there is a, a new gun available in this new codex for these, and that's the shock cannon, which will cost you five points. Now it's uh, a shorter range, only 18 inches. Uh, strength 5, uh, AP 5, just one shot, but it's a blast weapon with the Haywire special rule. So still pretty good at taking uh, vehicles out. Um, but I don't know that it's worth 5 points. I have great success with the Impaler Cannon. Um, I've never tried the Shot Cannon, I have to be honest. Um, I, I haven't taken it. Uh, the, the 18 inches for me is just a slight problem and I don't know extra 5 points. Is it worth the investment? I don't know. Um, I'd love to hear your comments on that. After all we are doing a, a learning curve. Uh, so if you've used the shot cannon, if you've used both, let me know what your experience is. But personally I've only ever used the impaler cannon. Now you can have adrenal glands and you can have toxin sacs if you wish. Once again, just like a lot of the Tyranid units, it isn't worth taking on this. Not because they're disposable units, you're just not really going to be getting them into assault. Or at least you're going to try not to. So how are we going to use these guys? Well, 
The first thing to bear in mind is they're not a synapse creature, so you do ideally want to keep them in synapse range. Uh, leadership 7, although yes, you've got a 50% chance of um, passing, you know, it'd be good to, to just auto-pass. Now, that means you're going to be having, you know, you're going to need them within your snaps range, and that sort of falls in quite nicely with just trundling them forward with the rest of your swarm. Uh, you know, you've got your warriors, your gants, your gaunts, uh, these guys are trundling forward, helping out, taking out those uh, light tanks, getting the troops out on foot. Uh, very, very useful for that. Yes, we've got a lot of other nice gun options, and your fly rents are really good for, for going out and, and taking out tanks, um, because you've got the movability to get you know behind the tank. Um, if it's you know a slightly higher armour on the front, then the fly rents can get to the rear armour, which these guys generally can't do. Okay, you could put them in a pod, but I, I really wouldn't do that. Um, so they're pretty good for that. They're also quite good as a defensive unit as well. Although they may not necessarily do as much damage, um, having them at the back, especially if you're playing a list where maybe you've got a defence line with a Tervigon behind, with some Gants and a Venom Thropes, um, and then you might have these just sitting nearby or potentially within the defence line, within synapse range. And anything that comes close to you, you've got some shooting ability uh, before your Gants uh, hit whatever's coming for your objective at the back. So they can be quite good, good for a defensive unit as well as an offensive unit. So overall, generally all round a good choice. You know, a nice solid NID unit that you can't really go wrong with. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope it was useful and uh, watch out for the next instalment. Thanks for watching.